Well, throughout history, we've seen our fair share of instances where robots intentionally or unintentionally have caused harm. From industrial accidents to airy tales of artificial intelligence gone wrong. These incidents have served as a reminder of the potential risk we face in this rapidly advancing technological age. But don't worry, we're not here to fuel your nightmares or scare you away from innovation. Instead, we'll delve into 10 such cases where robots killed humans, just as an opportunity to understand the challenges we face and to ensure that our future with robots remains safe and beneficial for all. Let's start with the first incident on our list, which is the Ford's robot arm. So these has been around since way back in 1954, and they were programmed to carry out repetitive tasks with flawless precision. The idea was to keep humans out of harm's way and let robots handle the dangerous stuff. But soon things went south. When in 1979, a Ford factory worker named Robert Williams had a task to manually count parts. While he climbed a towering shelf unit, an active robot nearby continued its work, oblivious of the dangers it posed. Tragically, the robot's arm struck Robert's head, causing an instant fatal injury. And this was the first time in history that a human life was lost at the hands of a robot. At the second spot, let's discuss the Japanese AI conspiracy. So there's a rumor going around that military robots in Japan went rogue and actually killed 29 scientists at a facility. And it's quite possible that this story might be more fiction than fact. However, according to a journalist, Linda Moulton Howie, who is now quite into UFOs, claimed that one of these robots even contacted a satellite network. But fact checkers at Snoop say there's zero evidence to support this wild claim. Next up, we have the Ventra Iona factory incident at number 3. This factory is all about welding and stamping truck bumpers, where humans and robots work side by side just like in many auto manufacturing places. But these robots aren't very smart, and they just do what they're programmed to do, and wouldn't know what to do if a person gets in their way. So that's what happened when in 2015, Wanda Holbrook was doing her work at the factory. Mind you, she was following all the safety rules, but out of nowhere, a robot's arm entered her workspace and hit poor Wanda on the head. And she lost her life. And now at the fourth spot, we have a story from the Volkswagen Germany plant. So here's what went down. A 22-year-old contractor lost his life while working on a robot installation. It happened when the robot wasn't even supposed to be active. But somehow the robot suddenly sprang into action and because the young man was inside the unsafe zone around the robot, he got crushed against a metal plate by the robot. The next killer on our list is the Kawasaki robot arm. Now, this is another robot malfunctioning story where an employee at the Kawasaki plant named Kenji Urada was near a robot that was acting up. Now, instead of following the proper procedure of opening a gate that would shut off the power, Urada decided to take matters into his own hand. He leaped over to the gate to fix the robot arm and accidentally pressed the power button. And then the robot arm sprang to life and crushed his body against a wall. Next up, we have robot suicides at number 6. So this tragic event took place in 2008 in Australia, where an 81-year-old man named Francis P. Tewe found himself in a dark place and unable to find the help he needed. In a distressing turn of events, he decided to take matters into his own hands and devised a robot suicide machine. It was a simple machine with a .22 caliber gun and four bullets. He set it up in his driveway and ended his life with the help of this machine. Coming up next is the SGR A1 sanitaries at the seventh spot. So these sanitary robots deployed in the DMZ between North and South Korea. And well, they play an important role in safeguarding a highly sensitive area. These robots are heavily armed with 1000 rounds of ammo, a grenade launcher, thermal cameras and so much more. While we don't exactly know if they've taken any lives, there are ethical concerns associated with these autonomous killing machines. Next up at number 8 is a bomb disposal robot that actually helped kill a culprit. So these machines have been around since the 1970s and they help the law enforcement handle dangerous situations without risking lives. 
But in 2016, something different happened in Dallas. During a sniper attack on police officers, the authorities repurposed this bomb disposal robot by strapping a bomb to it and sent it into the room where the shooter was hiding. The explosion took place and the suspect died. It was a historic moment where, for the first time, a robot was intentionally used by the police to take a life. On number 9, we had the story of a self-driving Uber. So it's true that autonomous vehicles are meant to make driving safe. But accidents can still happen. In 2018, a self-driving Uber hit a cyclist. There was a human in the car, but they were busy watching TV instead of paying attention. Now, the thing is that self-driving cars are designed to have a human backup just in case. But if that backup is not paying attention, well, you can imagine the consequences. The driver was charged with negligent homicide because, you see, humans are supposed to be the safety net behind these autonomous vehicles. The trial was delayed and we're still waiting to find out who will be held responsible in the end. And last but not the least, let's talk about how in 2020, an Iranian nuclear scientist was assassinated using an AI machine gun. According to some reports, this deadly robot had such accuracy that it took out the scientist without harming his wife sitting next to him. However, these claims haven't been independently verified. The official word is that scientists were targeted and attacked by Israel with the help of the United States. It's a disturbing reminder of the potential dangers of advanced weaponry. And well, that sums up our list of 10 instances where robots and machines have caused harm to humans. Think of this video as a reminder that we must approach the integration of robots and AI with caution and ethical considerations. So, do you think we'll be able to strike a balance where machines assist us without posing significant risk? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you like this video, give us a big thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss out on our new content. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you in the next one.